Right now at 6 o'clock unraveling a River Oaks murder case. Investigators followed the trail from Houston to San Antonio. Now an arrest has been made. Montrell Burley has surrendered to police and now faces charges in the murder of rapper BTB Savage. JPRC 2's Bryce Newberry just spoke with BTB Savage's mother. Bryce, she wants justice for her son and an arrest was the first step. Keith Daniela, the first of many steps for this grieving mother tonight. Montrell Burley is behind bars here downtown on a $1 million bond accused of the murder of BTB Savage. Police say he walked into this building overnight and turned himself in four days after that warrant was issued for his arrest. This video you're looking at now is from his first court appearance just hours ago. You can see him uh, cracking his neck and stretching just before his name was called. Court documents show license plate readers and cell phone data linked Burley to the March 30th River Oaks area murder where more than 60 rounds were fired. Investigators believe Burley committed the murder in retaliation after BTB Savage shot and killed one of his close friends and fellow gang members earlier this year in San Antonio. Police say that friend robbed BTB Savage and his girlfriend at gunpoint. They then closed the case after determining the homicide was justified. The rapper's mother, who we just spoke with, says she's grateful for all the work police did to track him down. I was very glad to hear the news that he, they say he surrendered himself to authorities. Um, I was upset that he got a bond because I didn't want him to have no bond. Um, but, you know, I'm going to let the law do, be the law. Conviction will give me justice, you know, and that's all I want. I just want justice. I don't want no more violence. And records show that prosecutors are asking for bail to be denied in this case pending trial. They would like to have a hearing on that within the next week because uh, Burley has been convicted of a felony in the past and this murder that he's now accused of involved a deadly weapon. Reporting live downtown tonight, I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.